Hello my friends, this is your friend once again, Open Source Code Gangster, with another short tutorial on how to use ThingSpeak. So I'm going to demonstrate on how you open ThingSpeak framework. So ThingSpeak was created by MathWorks, it, it enables people to, to simulate or to demonstrate uh, access from Arduino controllers uh, onto the internet and if you want to demonstrate like data transfer using the ESP32, uh, the ESP8266 or any other ESP module. So mainly we use it for IoT. So you come here to sign in if, if, if you already have an account or if you don't have an account, you go on, 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 on sign up. But I'll, I'll go back so that I show you the interface. So for, for me, I'll have to, to so when you, when you sign in, you get to, to, to this interface. So let me see if, if it can, yeah. So you, when you open the website, you get to this interface, then you go on, on, on sign in, then you sign in, then you go on channels, then say my channels. If a new user, there won't be any channel. So you'd want to create a new channel. So you click on new channel, then it loads, then it gives you the channel. So here you name the, the name of the project. So let's say you want to simulate a home automation. You go like home automation. Home automation system and a yeah, brief description of the project just for you so that when you, you you log in you get able to access and know which project you were like uh, if you're using like more than five or ten projects after some time you might need to know which project you're operating so you can write uh, this is an automation of my house in Harare for the garden so this one will be for 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 my house for my garden here in Arare, right so now for the for the fields it depends with the with the number of um of sensors that i'm going to use so if i'm using two sensors i'm going to click on two fields then i name my parameters so first we say i'm, I'm for the garden i'm monitoring soil moisture so i go soil moisture then for the second field, let's say I'm monitoring humidity. Then humidity, I'll say this this garden of mine is a, is a greenhouse. Then for the next parameter, I'm monitoring my my temperature. So I'll monitor my temperature. So I've set up my three parameters. If this is just for for monitoring, uh, the parameters are okay. Then you go down. Then you you if you want to check the status of the channel, you click on status. I'll uh, I'll I'll show you next uh, how everything is going. There are other parameters where you can link this to GitHub and you can have your data being exported to GitHub or you can link this data to ThingSpeak, then it can export to another website. So after this, you save your channel like this. Then it will load. Then it will show you a private show like this. So this is your home automation. That's the name of the of the, of the the channel. So you have uh, zero entries, which means you haven't received any data. So this is where your so you moisture data is going to be displayed. This is where your humidity data is going to be displayed. This is where your temperature data is going to be displayed. This is where your channel status. So if any of the three channels receive data, you're going to be seeing from this channel status right here on this on the, on this platform. So after this, I can uh, go through the, the channel settings. So yeah, the channel settings, if you want to edit anything on the channel after creating it, it's saying percentage complete is 50%. This is because we haven't completed any of the fields down here. If you want to delete the, the channel, you can come in, you can delete the channel. If you want to clear all few data from the channel, you can clear channel and uh, add any other new information. You can use that button. So when you want to connect to an Arduino, you go to API keys. Then you leave saying I haven't saved, but I already saved. You go to API keys. Then you come here. This is your write API. So if you want to write data to the to the ThingSpeak, this is the, the API that you use. If you want to read the data from the ThingSpeak, this is the API that you use. Like uh, if you're importing data uh, from the ThingSpeak to your website, personal website, you use this data. So if you have a website, right, you have a web application, and you have a Arduino, you know, your home garden, your remote home garden, and you're uploading data to the ThingSpeak, and you want to uh, read that data and export it to another site or another application, here they, they've already put their the, the API software, like the, the get, uh, the HTTP get API for ThingSpeak, so yeah, they've already appended the, um, the write API key. So this is for writing fields, this is for reading a channel. 
reading a channel field you can read uh, any field you can choose a specific field that you want to choose for hours we have three channels so this is uh, demonstrate the number of channel if you have the fields they have channel one channel two channel three you can uh, read specific fields or you can read the, the updates uh, every time uh, data is posted from the Arduino you can uh, get uh, a, an update or if you have created an Android application and you connect to this API using the read channel update status every time there is an update they need to send you a, a little message on your on your Arduino so they, they've already they've already put like um, a small data code for for for, for using um, the, the the Arduino framework if you're using the, the Arduino framework this is a private view as I was saying so this you can see this is field one field two field three as I was uh, indicating so yeah so uh, as is also you can export the data if you have received a lot of data right and you want to if uh, you are uh, like managing big data you can export a, a csv file this will be like an excel file format and you can export that uh, that data to anywhere you want to use or you can import data if you want to blend uh, data that you have uh, read from previous back into the the thing speak you can import it via the um, the csv so you click on choose file like this then you open the directories uh, then desktop if you have uh, if, if i think i'm just going to test with uh, another excel that i have so i can just use something like add items then i open so like this then uh, i'll upload so if if my file format agrees with uh, whatever data format then it it, it it will upload so i have to change my time zone like i'm from 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 a third uh, zimbabwe so i would look for a plus two we share with south africa so i can use south africa then i can upload my my data so if it's a correct format for the thing speak the data will, will upload thank you very much for your time i sign out goodbye